Leonard Modino, Subliminal, How Your Unconscious Mind Rules Your Behavior. Embark on a journey into the depths of your mind with our summary of a subliminal, How Your Unconscious Mind Rules Your Behavior, by Leonard Modino. This riveting book explores the mysterious workings of the unconscious mind, its influence on our thoughts, emotions, and behavior, as well as its evolutionary origins. Discover fascinating insights on the various layers of our brain, the role of body language and voice in communication, and the power our unconscious mind has in forming both accurate and flawed memories. Get ready to unlock the secrets lurking beneath the surface of your conscious mind. Rediscovering the Unconscious For centuries, philosophers have pondered the workings of the unconscious mind. While Immanuel Kant proposed the mind creates its own reality, Sigmund Freud's theories of repression and incest have since been debunked. However, new research and technological advances have rekindled interest in understanding the unconscious. Neuroscientists now use functional magnetic resonance imaging to map the brain's activity and link mental processes to specific neural pathways. The brain is divided into three layers, with the deepest being reptilian, responsible for basic tasks like breathing, and the neocortex governing goal-related actions and conscious thought. The limbic system, the intermediate layer, controls social perception and behaviors. This deeper understanding of the unconscious has the potential for boundless progress. The power of our unconscious mind. Our unconscious mind perceives threats and keeps us safe by gathering data from all our senses. While imperfect, it filters raw information from the senses and turns it into information for our conscious brain to use. Even when our visual cortex is damaged, our unconscious mind can still use our eyesight through blind sight. The unconscious mind forms a steady, smooth image of the world around us that we can consciously use. The Power of Body Language Our bodies communicate just as much as our words do. Body language is an innate tool that allows humans to sense the intentions of others. It is inherited from our ancestors and is just as important to us as it is to animals. Facial expressions like smiles or fear are universal, innate, and difficult to fake, while body language can also convey our expectations of others and affect their behavior. In an experiment, students subconsciously influenced each other's expectations of success or failure through their body language alone. Our unconscious mind is always picking up and responding to the body language of others, making it a powerful tool for communication and influence. Whether we realize it or not, Body language is always at play in our social interactions and can reveal much more than our words alone. The Science of Voice Our voice says more about us than we realize. Evolutionary biology shows that men's deep, resonant voices are attractive to women since they are linked to more testosterone and, therefore, higher reproductive success. On the other hand, women's voices become smoother during ovulation, which can indicate fertility. Additionally, people judge others' personalities based on their vocal characteristics, including tone, volume, and pace. Studies find that high-pitched voices can be perceived as dishonest and anxious, while slow voices are seen as less truthful and persuasive. In contrast, fast and varied voices suggest liveliness, knowledgeability, and intelligence. Margaret Thatcher is a prime example of someone who was able to transform her high-pitched voice into a lower pitch, which ultimately contributed to her success in becoming the UK's first female prime minister. The Unreliable Nature of Human Memory Our memory is not like a video camera, but rather, we remember important experiences in a general form. Our unconscious mind then creates stories from these fragmented memories and the situations we find ourselves in. However, this can lead to mistaken identities and incorrect eyewitness statements. Uncovering the unconscious The human brain struggles to understand and recognize emotions due to their origin in the unconscious mind. Our ancestors prioritized survival over self-comprehension, leaving us with a limited ability to deal with emotions. Emotions arise from physiological responses, making them difficult to interpret consciously. 
Despite this, individuals tend to overestimate their ability to explain their emotional reactions. A study revealed that people could not accurately identify factors that lead to their attraction or repulsion to a person. The subconscious mind guides emotional responses, making it challenging to understand and analyze them fully. Two characters in our minds. Our conscious mind acts like a scientist, always looking for objective truth, while our unconscious mind works like a lawyer, making decisions and defending its position. Unfortunately, our lawyer brain is more potent, leading us to confirm our beliefs rather than seek alternatives. Even scientists fall prey to biases, as evidenced by those who clung to steady-state beliefs even after the discovery of the Big Bang Theory. Defending preconceived beliefs can drastically alter interpretation of information. A mock court case showed how even identical information can lead to widely different conclusions based on previous beliefs. The danger of self-perception. Inflated views of ourselves can lead to significant delusions in how we perceive reality. Even in extreme cases where three mental patients claimed to be Jesus, two of them maintained their fantasy despite the evidence. This phenomenon is called the above-average effect, which makes us overestimate our abilities and self-image. Studies have shown that high school seniors rated themselves as at least average in getting along with people, while 25% put themselves in the top 1%. The problem is that our self-belief often leads to an inability to accurately assess our abilities, making task scheduling and project estimations particularly challenging. This delusion is partially due to evolution favoring individuals with self-belief and ego. Although this trait has been crucial to our adaptation and progress as a society, it has also led to inflated self-perceptions that can have a significant impact on our beliefs and actions. The Significance of Socializing From birth, humans are wired to socialize with people who help us and avoid those who harm us. This instinct is supported by our unusually large neocortex, which enables us to decipher complex relationships. The size of a species' social group correlates with the proportion of neocortex in their brain. Humans have an average social group of 150 due to our developed theory of mind. However, the consequences of social isolation can lead to physical pain and health problems such as high blood pressure, obesity, and shorter life expectancy. Emotions linked to social pain are processed in the same region of the brain as the part that processes physical pain, which explains why social isolation can physically harm us. The Science of Our Human Nature Human behavior is heavily influenced by brain chemicals and unconscious patterns that are also present in the animal kingdom. Our behavior can be shaped by a limited resource of chemicals that are switched on and off by nature. Researchers have observed that we tend to follow unconscious patterns of behavior similar to a computer program that leads our decision-making. This reveals that we are not the masters of our own destiny and that our lives are greatly influenced by factors we have little control over. Hidden Biases We all strive to be fair and unbiased, but many of us harbor unconscious prejudices. These biases affect the way we perceive others, from outward appearances to racial stereotypes and cultural expectations. These biases can even affect our society as a whole. The first step to overcoming them is to identify them, and then we can try to override them by spending time with people we are prone to label. While we may not be able to control our unconscious mind, we can work to manage it. The Power of Group Identity we all have various identities that we switch depending on the situation. However, our attachment to a particular group can lead us to feel superior to members of other groups. Studies show that we have a higher opinion of members of our own group than others, even if the groups are totally artificial. For instance, in a study, subjects were assigned at random to be a fan of either Vasily Kandinsky or Paul Klee, two artists for whom they had no preference or specialist knowledge. Surprisingly, they gave more money to people assigned to their own artist than the other one, despite knowing almost nothing about the other subjects beyond this arbitrary grouping. This shows that we gain psychological comfort from being part of a group, but we also show prejudice against those who are not members. The Power of Perceived Trivial Factors 
This book snippet reveals the astounding influence that seemingly insignificant factors have on our decision making. The pronunciation of a company's name, the background music in a store, or even a political candidate's physical appearance can have a significant impact on our choices. For example, companies with easy to pronounce names are more successful than those with difficult ones. Surprisingly, the background music in a store can even affect which wine customers choose to buy. Furthermore, studies have shown that a candidate's perceived competence based on their appearance can predict their likelihood of being elected to public office. The book also highlights how the first televised U.S. presidential debate between Nixon and Kennedy, in which Nixon's appearance played a crucial role in his defeat, marked a turning point in how political campaigns were conducted. Overall, this summary challenges readers to question their own decision-making processes and the extent to which they are influenced by factors beyond their awareness. As we reach the end of our exploration into the world of a subliminal, we are reminded of the complexities and intricacies of the human mind. Leonard Lodino's work shows us that our unconscious mind holds tremendous power over our thoughts, feelings, and actions. From the way we perceive the world and ourselves, to our innate instincts and biases, our unconscious mind shapes our experiences in ways we may not even realize. By understanding the nature and effects of the unconscious, we can gain greater self-awareness, challenge our prejudices, and strive toward a more enlightened understanding of ourselves and our fellow human beings. So, tap into the power of your unconscious mind and embrace the journey of self-discovery, 